Once you've chosen your file name and type, you will then see the Autopipe Isometrics Manager Options dialog. We will go through the features and options line by line. First, you have the option to show the flow arrows, which show the pipe flow with an arrowhead on the isometric. It only shows the direction of the segment when we are referring to flow and how that segment was created. It's not actually showing the contents flow of the pipe. Next, we have the line number which prints the line number on the isometric and it will plot the line number at the second point name on each new segment. You can see the examples of the line number and the flow arrow here. You have the ability to export the isometric using the selected range, which will use the highlighted points in the model for the isometric. And if you uncheck it, it will export the complete model. You can automatically split your isometrics. We'll discuss details for this feature a bit later. And you can choose to ignore any user-defined breakpoints, uh, which is disabled if the Enable Automatic Split option is checked. You can create two different kinds of data tables. You can create all of the data on a separate sheet when generating the isometrics. This will add a separate sheet, which would be containing all of the data selected in the separate tables tab or you can include the context data with the drawing. This will provide data on the sheet in the context of components available on that particular isometric sheet. Here are some examples of the separate and context tables. And here's a close up of those tables as well. Then you have many data identifier options. We have the pipe identifier, the pipe diameter, the diameter change, which will plot the diameter when the value changes from one pipe to another. The diameter change labels are also placed on reducers and T points. The pipe schedule and the pipe tag, which shows the pipe tag associated with the pipe properties. This can be set in the pipe properties dialog in Autopipe. We can also show the flange rating and tag, as well as the valve rating and tag. the point name, the T name. If both point name and T name are checked on, only one name would be printed at the T's. We can include annotations, which will show any non-blank annotation notes on the plot that have been selected. We can include bend information, like the bend radius, the diameter, and the type. And there's an option to draw boxes around any of this information as well which is being shown in this example. For supports, we have the ability to show the support location, ID, tag, and attachment ID. And for anchors, we have anchor tags and connections. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.